Hello everyone, you all are welcome back to our YouTube channel Esculenta Science. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Today we are going to talk about raising agents, flower treatment agents, firming agents and forming agents. Let's first talk about raising agents. Raising agents or leavening agents are substances used in dough handling and batters that cause a firming action that lighten and soften the mixture. Incorporation of air by mechanical action is an alternative to leavening agents. Food raising can be done mechanically, biologically, chemically and with the use of steam and lamination. And raising is done to create thousands of small air bubbles in foods. Beating of egg white and mixing it with flour is an example for mechanical raising. Fermentation by using yeast is an example for biological raising. Raising the dough by using baking powder is an example for chemical raising. Flour already contained baking powder is called as self-raising flour and raising of them also a chemical raising during the processing. A steam can create air pockets during the processing of food such as puddings and steam buns and create air pockets by altering sheets called as lamination. For an example, in paste production, lamination is done by altering the sheets of dough and batter. Aluminium ammonium sulfate, ammonium carbonate and gluconodelta lactone are some examples for raising agents which are used in the food industry. Batter, dough and confectionery processing used raising agents for their purposes. Then let's see what are flower treatment agents. Flower treatment agents are food additives that accelerate the aging and maturation of flower, promoting a better appearance in the flower products and fermentation process. The importance of flower treatment agents in food industry are they can improve the appearance and final quality of bakery products. Also, they can increase the speed of dough raising, improve the strength and workability of the dough, and reduce the time needed to produce a loaf of bread to 2 hours from 12 to 24 hours early back bread make required. Azodicarbonamide, ascorbic acid, calcium sulfate, and chlorine are some examples for flower treatment agents. Bakery products and confectionery industry use flower treatment agents in their processings. Now let's talk about what are firming agents. Firming agents are food additives added in order to precipitate residual pectin, thus strengthen the structure of the food and preventing its collapse during processing. They can prevent canned fruits and vegetables from becoming soft and disintegrating, maintain firmness of fruits and vegetables, or interact with gelling agent to strengthen food structure. Also, they can improve the structure from low gluten flowers. In bakery, they help to bu bubble stability and cell strength. Ammonium sulfate, calcium carbonate, calcium gluconate, and tricalcium citrate are some examples for firming agents used in food industry. Examples for food application of firming agents are gelatin products, ice cream, wine, carbonated beverages, sweets, jams, evaporated and condensed milk, milk powder, and processed cheese, etc. Then let's talk about forming agents. 
forming agents of food additives which are used to maintain the uniform dispersion of gases in aerated foods. It facilitates the formation of firms such as a surfactant or a blowing agent. A surfactant, when present in small amounts, reduces surface tension of a liquid or increases its colloidal stability by inhibiting coalescence of bubbles. Foam is produced with the help of trapping the gas bubbles and it is offered either in form of solid or liquid. These bubbles are surrounded and packed in form of gas, which ultimately produces the overall structure of foam in food and beverage products. Major components of foam are protein, water and fats. Alginic acid, ammonium alginates, calcium alginate, carbon dioxide, hydroxypropyl cellulose are some examples for forming agents in food industry. So, today we talk about another four types of food additives and this is the fourth part of food additive video series. If you found this video useful, please give it thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this. Hope to catch you in next time. Thanks for watching.